In this video, we're going to talk about honeypot. So what is a honeypot? Well, here's a diagram of a honeypot. What it is, is that a honeypot is a decoy server or multiple servers, and they're typically placed in a DMZ, which we see down here. We have our firewall, we have our DMZ over here with a honeypot in it, and then our internal network protected on a different interface on the firewall. And the whole purpose of these honeypots being in a DMZ is they're designed to entice malicious users, meaning hackers to attack them rather than our internal network. And so how does this work? Well, they're set up to look just like live production servers. However, the IT personnel are going to poorly configure them to make them much easier to exploit than our actual production servers. So they're more enticing to attack. They're easier to get into. They're easier to exploit. So why do we use a honeypot? Well, they serve a twofold purpose. The first one, of course, makes sense, and it's kind of straightforward, is they lure the, the hackers away from our real network. So we would much rather have them attack our honeypot than our real production internal network. The second thing is that honeypots allow our IT personnel to observe and learn how hackers are attacking our system. So we get to learn their methodologies for how they're exploiting weaknesses and vulnerabilities within our systems so we can better secure them. So that's a honeypot. Um, and like I said, they're typically set up within a DMZ. They could be an actual physical server. They could be multiple servers. They could be multiple servers that are virtualized within a single physical server. The way in which they're set up is really just gonna be dependent upon the organization. But like I said, they're typically set up in their own DMZ off on a different interface on our firewall. I mean, in regards to the role that they play in network isolation, well, they play a role in isolating or at least enticing the attackers to their own isolated portion of the network rather than our internal network. So that's gonna conclude our short introduction and overview into honeypots. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.